Hi there, in this video I want to talk about how to adjust the trim part number three in your Zox box. And that is a part that is responsible for uh, setting the resonance value, the default resonance value of your unit. And uh, I'm using the aluminum enclosure unit in this case if you're using the other version, um, of course, you have this different, this different enclosure here. You'd have to unscrew these four screws right here. One, two, three, four. Then take the bottom plate off and then have a look at what you see inside. I've never tried this with the mode machines units though, or uh, any of the other enclosure units. So I can only show you how it works with the aluminum machine. In this case, you'd have to unscrew these four screws. One, two, three, four. Leave the middle one. That doesn't matter in this case. And then these screws, one, and two and once you've done that um, well this is how it sounds now mm. okay you can still hear it okay the sound is not that great in this case because i'm not using the line in function um, i'm just using the built-in microphones of my camera for everything now so i uh, hope you can still hear everything okay all right so i've already taken the screws out and now i'll get rid of this bottom plate here which is not that easy and you will see why <sighs> okay The Zox box has these these rubber parts here, um, and they stick to the metal quite a bit, so it's not so easy to get this plate off. But once you've done that, you can already see the trim pot that we are looking for, which is this one right here, and it has it has even. TM3 printed on the part right underneath it. So um, that's to make sure that you're adjusting the right trim port. I strongly advise not to change any other trim ports of your unit uh, because I was told that when you've done that and you're not happy with the sound, you, you can detune your Zox box and then it's not so easy to get it back to its original state. You'd have to use uh, measure devices and uh, everything gets a bit more complicated. So you better leave all the other trim pots alone and only focus on trim pot number three right here. Okay, so I'll get the unit to play. And then with a small screwdriver like this, um, you can then make adjustments. Okay, this is the highest setting. That's the lowest possible setting right here. Okay, and then you choose a nice default setting that you like, leave it like it is, maybe even compare it to another machine, maybe even, uh, you might even have an original TB303, which would be perfect for, uh, for doing this. Um, and then you leave it as a default setting, put the closure back on and then you're all set. And that's really how easy it is. All right. Hope I've helped you out a little bit with this. Um, 
experiment with the trim pot number three that's not a problem you can choose any assignment you want here um, and you won't risk detuning your unit um, but you should leave the other trim pots alone as far as i'm told um, okay thanks for watching bye